Okay, we will check the homework later. Okay, before that, we will start with the lecture. So this is about school. Okay, can you see the pictures? What do they do? Tell me, what are those pictures? What can you see in these pictures, children? Chenuti? Can't you all hear me? Then why are you not answering me for the questions I'm asking you? I didn't hear the uh, first part. That what can say. you see in these pictures? Uh, oh. I can see a girl um, writing a report. Okay. Only Damindi has turned her camera on. Others, no. What's wrong? Turn your cameras on, everybody. So this is about school. You can see uh, here the students are studying and they here they are using laptops and all. And here you can see there's a uh, something at, like telephone, right? That means distance learning, right? Something like that. Okay. So starting off a typical school day, you cannot work in pairs. So um, Put the activities from the box in order to make a typical school day. Add your own ideas. So in a normal school day, what do you do? Look at the box. Do homework. Go home. Have a break. Have lunch at school. Make notes. Pay attention. Set off for school. Work in groups. What are the things that you do in a school? In a, in a typical school day. Pay attention. The, everything here, you do everything, right? In a, in a typical yeah. school day, you do everything. These uh, do homework, go home, have a break, have lunch at school, make notes, pay attention, set off for school, work in groups, all these things. What else do you do? What else? What are the other things that you do in a typical school day? Study. Study, okay. Emit? Read books. What is it? Read books. Read books, okay. Don't you play with your friends in the school? Don't you play? No. No? During the interval? No? No. You can't play. Emit? Yes. You play, yes. Okay. What else? You do extracurricular activities. You have a library period. I don't know if you have. You have a sport period, PE period. No, no PE period. No PE period, okay. Had now not there. It's not there now, okay. So come to reading part six. Match the sentences one to four with the photos A to D. Do not complete the gaps for now. Okay, there are four sentences here. There are four pictures here, see A, B, C, D, right? Match the sentences one to four with the photos A to D. You read the sentence and here 
like here you can put the letter a b c d read the sentence and find the correct picture for that do it now quickly Finish? Uh, yes, teacher. When you finish, you need to uh, put your raise hand option on, right? You can't remember that? Kavya still doing? I can't see Vihara, Yugit, Hamishi and Rushali, Tenulya. Okay, let's see. At Brooklyn Free School, there blank, no exams, homework, or marks. The students make blank rules. Then, in the school of the future in the USA, the students don't have blank buy books. They use a computer, blank, is connected to the internet. Third one. Oresta Gymnasium in Denmark is a school blank classroom walls. More than 1,000 students study in open learning zones where teachers walk around helping blank. Fourth one, if blank live on a huge continent like Australia, your nearest school might be hours away. Students who live too far blank a school study 
at the school of the air and receive their lessons over the internet. So number one is which picture? A or B or C or D? D. Which one? B. 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 D. D. Yes. At Brooklyn Free Schools, there are no rules. So D. Second one. In the school of the future in the USA, the student students don't have blank by books. They use a computer. Which one? C. C. Very good. C. Third one. Orista Gymnasium in Denmark is a school blank classroom walls. More than 1,000 students study in open learning zones. Which one? A. 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 Very good. A. Then the last one is B. Yeah. Now tell me, what type of word is missing in each gap? What type of word? Is it a verb? Is it a preposition or anything else? At Brooklyn Free School, there are. Ah. So what is it? A B verb. There are no exams, homework or marks. The students make the rules. Make the rules, yes. Or you can say their rules as well. In the school of the future in the USA, the students don't have two. two. Don't have to buy books. They use a computer. Which? Which? which very good, Demi. Which. which is connected to the internet. Then, the gymnasium in Denmark is a school without, without classroom walls. More than 1,000 students study in open learning zones where teachers walk around helping them. them. Very good. Yeah. Fourth one. If you, you, if you live on a huge continent like Australia, your nearest school might be hours away. Students who live too far from, from a school. Not it down. Okay, now come to the reading part. These are the ones that you need for your exam today. Today, I need one answer. Which one? Take. From, from. Who live too far from a school. Okay. Okay. Now, come to the reading part. These are the ones you need to do constantly children these are the ones that come for your exam so when you get a reading part like this what you have to do there are exam advices here look without filling in any of gaps one to six quickly read the text to find out what it is about you don't have to fill the gaps right away you can read the you should read the text without filling the blank for each gap, look at the sentence and decide what kind of word is missing. You read the text and then you understand, you, you decide what type of word that you need to fill. If it is a preposition or a verb or a be verb or a pronoun like that. Read the sentence again and think of the word which best, best fits the gap. Okay, so here you don't have answers. You need to read the text without filling the blanks. Then what you have to do is you need to decide what type of word you have to fill. First, you read the paragraph. 
then you decide what type of word you need to fill. Then you put your answers. There are six blanks. Can you do it now? Quickly. Did you write the answers, Chanuti? Good. Good. Demindi, Vihara, Yugi, Thameshi, and Rushali. I can't even see you all. And you don't talk. Let's see the answers. The children of Gulu, which is a small village in China, used to have blank, unusual journey to school. Their village, blank, located in a deep valley, surrounded by mountains, and it took them five hours to get their school, get to their school. The pupils had to climb up a mountain along a path that was blank, narrow in places that they were in danger of falling into the valley below. Their teacher, Shin Kijun, ran the school blank over 26 years. Although his students enjoyed school, only two of blank went to university. Everything changed when a newspaper wrote a report and this journey to school became famous. The local government decided blank closed the school because the journey was too dangerous. Okay, now let's see. The children of Gulu, which is a small village in China, used to have uh, and it's not a, it should be the article uh, N, an, an unusual journey. Their village blank located. Was, their village was located in a deep valley. The text is in past tense. Used to used to have a uh, have an unusual journey to school. Their village was located in a deep valley surrounded by mountains, and it took 
took them five hours to get to their school. The pupils had to climb up a mountain along a path that was very, very. Oh yes. What was Tenuti's answer? Who? Who? Two. Two. Too narrow. Yes, fine. In places that they were in danger of falling into the valley below. Their teacher, Shen Kijun, ran this school. Fourth one? From. From. Four. 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 For over four. 26 years. For over 26 years. Although his students enjoyed school, only two of them. only two of them, very good, went to university. The local government decided, this is very easy. Two. 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 The government decided, local government decided to close the school. So get the practice. You don't have to fill the blanks right away. You can read the text and decide what type of word that you need to uh, put. Okay, now come to the page number 18. The vocabulary part, fail, pass, take, lose, miss, study, and teach. What type of words are these? With what type of words do we use these words with? That is the problem, okay? Exam candidates often make mistakes with fail, pass, take, lose, miss, study, and teach. Complete the sentences with words from the boxes. Fail means fail. You fail exams, right? You pass exams, you fail exams. Then you pass. Pass an exam, fail an exam. Take also, we take exams. We take exam. You can say, I'm taking the pet for school exam this year. Like that. So the first one is, we have to take an exam at the end of this course. What is it? Do an official test. Okay. Then the second one. I hope I, what is the meaning? Be successful in an exam. Be successful in an exam. What is the word? Pass. 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 I hope I pass, pass the exam. I'm studying a lot because I don't want to. Meaning not be successful in an exam. Fail. Fail. Write them down. Okay, next one. Lose and miss. Lose and miss. I don't want to. The meaning is not go to something or arrive, arrive too late to get on a bus, a train, etc. Not go to miss. something or arrive too late. Miss. I don't want to miss my class. I don't want to miss my class. Very good. Then, I often blank. The meaning is not be able to find something. Lose. Someone. Lose. Not be able to find. Then, learn, study, teach. I want to learn. I want to learn. 
get new knowledge or skills get teach new knowledge get new knowledge get ah uh, get new knowledge or learn learn i want to learn how to ride a horse if you uh, if you want to get a new knowledge about something you are learning it okay you are learning it then give new knowledge or skills giving it it's teaching my dad is going to teach me how to cook yeah. giving new knowledge getting new knowledge is learning my brother would like to blank study. study go to classes study. read books etc to try to understand new ideas and facts study okay shall we uh, write some sentences like one sentence each for one word you write a sentence using fail then pause and take like that in your grammar book topic is uh, no not in your uh, grammar book your vocabulary book okay write in your vocabulary book take out your vocabulary books children take your vocabulary books write fail pause take lose miss study and teach then write one sentence each quickly and when you are done please put the raise hand option on teacher what is the book vocabulary amit could you say that again take out your vocabulary books write the topic here can you see vocabulary fail pass take lose miss study like that make one sentence each with every word you put fail and make a sentence pass sentence like that i want to check if you all have understood the meanings excuse me teacher i couldn't understand there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 words right fail pass take lose miss where teacher What a fail, pass, take, lose, miss, yes, learn, study. Yes, yes. The thing we just learned, this vocabulary part. Can you see? There are seven words. Yes, teacher, can see. Okay, now make uh, how many sentences? sentences? Make seven sentences using each and every word. One sentence, okay, to one word. Excuse me, teacher. Can we use past tense? Yes, you can. You can.
Please, Only Chenuti has finished. Others, if you have finished, please put the raise hand option on. Vihara still doing. Amy? Yes, TJ. Kavya, Demindi, Yugit, Tenulia. Yasiru. Demindi is still doing. Kavya, Emit. Finish, teacher. Okay, let's check. Uh, can you give me one sentence? Uh, with fail. I failed my exam because I couldn't study. I didn't hear you. I failed my exam because I couldn't study. Good. You get pass. You get tell me a sentence with pass. You get this not here? Okay, how many she tell me?
um, you mean the um, the what we what we wrote, right, Miss? Yes, yes. Most people fail their O level exam. I pass most of the exams I get. They take the bus to go to school. Okay, okay, I okay, okay. okay Hamashi. Good, good, good. I just asked you to tell the sentence with pass. You told me everything. It's fine. Good. Rushali, tell me a sentence. The sentence you wrote with take. I take up a lot of space in my bed. <laughs> you take a lot of space. No, this is about the exam. See, the take. Here, do an official test. Can you see? With that meaning, you need to write a sentence. Amesh, what did you write? Amesh, you need to write a sentence with this meaning. Do an official test. This is the meaning here. Take. Kavya. What's wrong with these I'm, children? I'm going to take my English exam on next week. Very good. I'm going to take my English exam next week. Very good. Next one, loose. Vihara, tell me a sentence. I lose my books every day, every time. Okay. Miss. Emit. I will miss my class if the bus doesn't arrive here in time. I didn't hear you, Emit. I will miss my class if the bus doesn't arrive here in time. Very good, very good. Okay, learn. Bemindi. I want to learn French. I want to learn French. Easy and correct. Yasiru. Study. Yasiru. Tenulia. Tenuli, are you here? What's wrong? Did Chenuti tell me? With study. I didn't hear teacher. With study. The word is study. Tell me your sentence. I am currently studying for exam. Good. Rushali, tell me the uh, sentence with teach. Rushali. Say it. Rushali, I teach my sister to write. I teach my sister to write. Yes, correct. Okay, the second one, choose the correct option in italics. Will be your homework. I did it already. Okay, that is your homework. Take a break. Do you want a break? 
na I need to do. Do you want a break? Yeah. Come to page number eighteen, grammar part, past simple. Okay, so today we are going to learn about past tense. Take out your grammar books and write the topic past tense. Simple past. Put the date and write simple past. Excuse me, teacher, should we write that? Yes, yes, yes. Write this down. Okay, when do we use simple past tense? completed action to talk about completed action in which time in the past before before now means before now means in the, in past. the past it could be a minute before it could be a year before year ago or it could be 10 years 100 years ago before now 
and also it is a completed action. So highlight or underline completed action. Okay, a completed action and before now. Completed action and before now. Finished teacher, right? Finished. Okay. So when we want to talk about an action, a completed action in a time before now, we use simple past. Is it clear? Is it clear, children? Now let's yes, write teacher. the affirmative syntax. What is the affirmative syntax? How do we build up an affirmative or a positive sentence in simple past? Okay, then uh, frame this syntax, okay? You need to frame the syntax. Then let's write examples. Now here in this affirmative syntax, when, do we, when we use this syntax to build up an affirmative sentence or a positive sentence, what do we do? We write the subject, then we write the past tense of the verb. Now I will tell you some verbs, you tell me the past tense of those verbs. Okay, go. Gone. Past went. tense. Went. Went, went. Eat. Ate. Ate. Right. Rod. 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 Ride. Rod. Ride. Rod. Rod. Where? War. 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 Um, War. War. Walk. Walk. Folk. Walk. 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 W A L K. Walk. 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 Yes. Sing. Walk. What teacher? Sing. 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 Singing a song. Sing. 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 Okay. Bring. 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 Broad. Bring. Broad. 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 Ring. Ring. Rang like that. Okay. What are you doing?
Okay, understood how to build up an affirmative sentence? Okay, let's let's speak. Um, they may be. Give me a say, uh, affirmative sentence. Give me an affirmative sentence using simple past. Demi is gone. Chenuti? They took an exam. They took a exam. They took an exam. Yes. How many? They took an exam. How many? Yes. Give me a sentence. Um. Yeah. I'm second. Hurry up and think. I ate my breakfast. I ate my breakfast. Good. Now let's go to the negative syntax. How do we form a negative uh, sentence in simple past tense, yeah. children? Anybody? Anybody who knows? Singular here? subject does not verb base for the rest. Simple past? Oh, no, no, no. Simple past. How? Subject plus does not plus. I'm talking about simple past, children, not simple present. Singular plus. Past verb plus. Um, How do we form a negative sentence in simple past? Did not. Did not. Did not. Yes, very good. Did not. Did not is the word. Okay, it could be a singular noun. It could be a plural noun. No matter what, you just have to use did not. Not like simple present tense. In simple present tense. Did you mean? Like... Subject plus. Did not plus. Wait, 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 wait. Listen to me first. In simple present tense, in simple present tense, okay? In simple present tense, we had to look for the uh, subject. Remember, if it is a plural or singular. Remember, if it is a singular, we had to write doesn't. If it is a plural, we had to write don't. But in past tense, we don't have that problem, okay? We don't have that problem in past tense, in simple past. We just use didn't for both type of nouns. For plural, we use didn't. We uh, with the uh, singular, we use didn't. No problem. Is it clear? Is that clear? I'm asking you all. Is that clear? Yes. Write this syntax.
write this down. Have all finished writing? No, teacher. No. Finish, teacher. Yes. I don't finish. Now look at this. Okay. Be careful with this. You can use did not with all type of verbs, like nouns, like singular, plural, anyone. But there's something to remember. What is it? You use did not to show that this is a negative, simple past sentence. But in the main verb, you do not keep it in simple past. If you write, or if you say, I did not went. Is it correct? I did not went. If you say I did not went to the party, is it correct? No. Why? Why is it not correct? Can you say the sentence again, please? I did not went. If I say I did not went, is it correct? No, it is wrong. It is wrong. Word, Why? The word did means past tense, and you don't have to use past tense uh, in the main verb. Very good. You don't have to use the past tense verb in the main verb. You don't have to say went. You have to. Use the base form, go. I did not go. Okay. Chenuti, I'm going to tell you the affirmative sentence. You need to tell me the negative sentence of it. Okay? Okay. okay. My brother made a Vesak lantern. My brother made a Vesak lantern. I didn't hear you, Chenuti. My brother did not make the Vesak lantern. Good. Kavya. Kavya. Yes. I, I decorated my house. I decorated my house. Tell me the negative sentence of it. 
I did I not did. decorate my house. Okay, I'm I'm coming for you, Vihara. Wait. Oh, sorry, teacher. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um, Emit. Yes, teacher. My best friend sang a song. My best friend did not sing a song. Ah, why did you use sang? Sing. Sing. You don't use the past tense in the base form. You sorry. You don't uh, use the past tense in your main verb. You use the base form. You don't say sang. You say sing. Emit. What is the answer? My best friend did not sing a song. Hmm. Yasiru, are you here? No. Yasiru? <laughs> Demindi? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Um, mother prepared lunch. Mother did not prepare lunch. Good. Tenulia? Yes, teacher. I read a novel. I did not read novel. I did not read a novel. Very good. Hameshi. Not Hameshi. Rushali. We went on a trip. We did not go on a trip. Good. Good. Like that. Understood? Did you all understand the negative syntax of past tense? Yes. No yes, problem. Teacher. Good. Let's go to the... Ah, another thing I couldn't tell you, I forgot. Did not have a contraction. What is the contraction of did not? Didn't. didn't. Did not equals to... Didn't. 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 Did not equals to didn't. If you say didn't, it's correct. It's no problem. Did not also uh, comes with didn't. The contraction of did not. Okay. Now, interrogative yes or no question. Can I go to the toilet? Yeah, yeah, sure. How do we form the yes or no question here? Anyone? Anybody who has an idea? How to form the yes or no question in simple past? Did. Did. Yes. Excuse me, Daisy, do we have to write this? Yes, yes. Not it down.
finished these already. I am also finished teacher. Anyone who is still writing? Hamishi and Rushali, are you all still writing? Kavya? Finished. Emit? Finish. Okay, good. Okay. Shall we make five questions using simple past tense? Shall we make okay. five questions, children? Okay, Not only with you, you need to uh, change the subject. Okay, you need to change the change the subject. You can use uh, you can use plurals. You can use singulars. No problem. Teacher, do we have to write it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make five questions using past tense. Excuse me, teacher, I didn't get it. Make five questions. Now, interrogative, yes or no question syntax is given. No? I taught you how to make a question now. Yes, teacher. Do you want me to? We use date, oh, no, all the subjects, right? Simple and plural both, and main verb in base form. You don't put the past tense in this one. Right? Did you read? Did he come? Not did he came? Like that. Okay. Now, changing the subject, you can use my brother, you, I, she, he, anything. Make five questions. Okay, teacher. Chenati, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, Okay, Emmy, tell me your sentences, the questions. Did you go to the maths class? 
Okay. Did she read the novel? Did okay. he write the letter? Did you wash the clothes? There were only four, right? Did they watch the television? Good, good. Um, Penulia? Did you do your homework? Did he wash his car? Did he did she cook meals? Did you do your work? Did she came to school? Did she came? Did she, did she come to school? Good. Came is wrong. Okay, Chenuti. He fall off the building. Did he invent? Did he invent the light bulb? Did, did he, he what? Chenuti, did he? Did, did he invent the light bulb? Ah, okay. Did she study for her exam? Did you have your breakfast? Did she make soup for dinner? Good, good, good. Okay, have you all understood? No problem? No problem. Okay, now how do we make the negative form of this question? Now you asked, did you read the lesson? Right? How do we ask the negative of this? Like in singular, did you read? The negative form of it, how do we make it? Uh, did you didn't. There are two ways. There are two ways. I think. Uh, yes. Either you can put like this. Like this. Did plus the subject. Not main verb in base form or you can use didn't right away. like this Kavya tell me your question tell me one of your your son of questions did you have your lunch okay now using the first syntax tell me the negative of it negative one did you not have your lunch second way didn't you have your lunch? Good. Write the negative form of the question and write these two syntaxes. Do you, do you want to write this down? Yeah, yeah. Write these two syntaxes. Teacher, do we write both of them? Yeah, write both of them. 
you need to know Finished it. Anyone who is still writing? Okay, now interrogative WH question. Now you should know by now what is the uh, connection between the yes or no question and the WH question. What is it? Chenuti? Chenuti? There is a connection between the yes or no question and the WH question, right? What is it? Anyone? What? There is a connection, like it's very easy to build up the WH question using the uh, yes or no question. Question. What is it? Can you say that again? The question you ask. There is a connection between WH question and the yes or no question. In every tense, even in simple present tense, we talked about this. What is it? WH question come to front of the. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go on, go on. From in front of the WH come WH question always come to front in the future. In where? Beginning of where? Yes, no question. Yes, so no question. Yes, very good. WH before the beaver. No, no, no. Chenuti wrong. Uh, WH question word plus. Uh, now tell me the yes or no question syntax in simple past tense. Tell me. Yes or no question syntax. Tell me. Open your books and tell me. Did. Did, yes. Subject. Subject. Main verb. Main verb. Main verb. The rest. Uh, under that, uh, no, under the main verb, uh, base form. Base form. Main verb in base form. Uh, then plus the rest. No, 
Yes. Right? So what is the difference? You just write the WH question word in the beginning. Right? Understand. Now you can understand? Yes. When did you read the novel? Like that. Not it all. This is the WH question. Finish okay, when you finish those yes or no questions you wrote, remember? You wrote five yes or no questions, right? Yes. Now, make appropriate WH questions with those questions. Put, uh, put appropriate WH question word in the beginning of that question, but write under the WH question syntax. Don't go there and write the WH question word in front of the yes or no question. Make the whole question again using the appropriate WH question word.
English teacher. Anyone who is still writing? I'm still writing, teacher. Finish teacher. Okay, Vihara, tell me your answers. The first one, teacher. All five WH questions. Uh, I'm still in the fourth one, teacher. Okay. Kavya. Teacher, only the WH questions, so both uh, yes or no questions? No, 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 WH questions. At what time did you have your lunch? How long did your sister watch TV? When did they write the exam? When did you finish your homework? How did she go to the school? Good, very good. Okay, did you finish? Okay, we had a tell me. When did you meet the doctor? When did she finish her homework? No, why did you meet the doctor? When did she finish her homework? Where did he take his lunch? How did you go to school today? Where, when did she cry today? When did she? Cry today. Cry? Yes, teacher. Okay, mm, Rushali. Why did you clean my bed? Why did you eat my lunch? When did you go to the shop? When did you find your book? Why did you like your gift? Okay, you have only used the subject you. I told you to uh, change the subject. But it's fine, the answers are correct, no problem. Okay. Now tell me, did you all understand how to do simple present tense? How to build up a, build up an affirmative sentence, a negative sentence, and also Understood, teacher. how to ask questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, no problem. Now come to page number 19. Come to page number 19, third one. Can you see? You have the words here. You need to ask the question using you and the past simple okay where go last year you need to use the subject you and past simple where did you go last year shall we do it now shall we yes teacher oh. okay teacher. teacher which page again please 19 okay teacher thank you
which I don't understand the uh, fourth one. Fourth one. It's not a WH question, it's a yes or no question. Think that way. Finish? Yes, teacher. Who is still writing? Okay, Kavya gave me the first answer. Where did you stay? Where did you stay? Very good. Second one, Vihara. Vihara? Sorry, okay. Wait, Chenuti. We had to tell me the second answer. Okay, teacher. Where did you stay? No, not the second one, third one. Sorry. Okay. Why did you choose Mexico City? Why did you choose Mexico City? Good. Third one, Emic. Emmett. Hameshi. Fourth one. Did you speak Spanish before you go? Did you speak Spanish before you go? Very good. Fifth one, Chenuti. How did it feel when you first arrived? How did it? How did you feel? How did you feel? Very good. Seventh one, Penulia. Did you like the city? Did you like the city? Seventh, Demindi. They mean this not here. Rushali. What subjects did you study? What subjects did you study? Very good. Last one. Yugit, are you here? Yugit. Yugit and Yasiru doesn't uh, do not talk. The last one, uh, Kavya. Did you enjoy the experience? Okay, did you enjoy the experience? So the next one is a listening part. Okay, 
we are going to listen to the track. Okay, I will play it twice. You need to find the answers from Emily's interview. Okay, shall we? Okay, teacher. Okay. Two. Grammar. Exercise two. Emily is a 16 year old school student. He spent in Mexico. Hello. Did you hear it? Yes. yes. Do you want me to raise the volume or is it okay? It's okay. It's okay, teacher. Okay, let's start. Unit two, grammar, exercise two. Emily is a 16 year old school student. She's here with us today to talk about the six months she spent in Mexico. Hello, Emily. Hi. Where did you go last year? I went to Mexico to stay with a Mexican family for six months as an exchange student. I went to school every day and I had to wear a uniform. In Canada, I don't know anybody who wears a uniform. Where did you stay? I stayed with Alicia and her family in Mexico City. Alicia is my age and we got on really well. Why did you choose Mexico City? I wanted to improve my Spanish. Mexico City is the capital, of course, and it's also the largest Spanish-speaking city in the world. Did you speak Spanish before you went? Yes, I did. I studied French and Spanish at school in Canada, and I thought I was good at languages. But when I got to Mexico, I couldn't say anything. It was awful. How did you feel when you first arrived? To tell you the truth, when I arrived, I was scared. Mexico City is so different from my hometown. It's enormous. Did you like the city? I liked it a lot. You see, there's so much to see and do, unlike St. Andrews, my hometown. There are shopping centers, museums, large cinemas with a choice of films, and then there are restaurants with food from all over the world. What about school? What subjects did you study? I did maths, chemistry, biology, Spanish, and lots of other subjects. Did you enjoy the experience? Oh, yes, I did. I'm really glad I went there. My Spanish got better, and I even began to dream in Spanish. I made so many really good friends, and Alicia is coming to stay with my family very soon. Thank you, Emily. And if you'd like to know more about being an exchange student, contact us. Found the answers? Yes, teacher found. Okay, the second time. Unit 2. Grammar. Exercise 2. Emily is a 16-year-old school student. She's here with us today to talk about the six months she spent in Mexico. Hello, Emily. Hi. Where did you go last year? I went to Mexico to stay with a Mexican family for six months as an exchange student. I went to school every day and I had to wear a uniform. In Canada, I don't know anybody who wears a uniform. Where did you stay? I stayed with Alicia and her family in Mexico City. Alicia is my age and we got on really well. Why did you choose Mexico City? I wanted to improve my Spanish. Mexico City is the capital, of course, and it's also the largest Spanish-speaking city in the world. Did you speak Spanish before you went? Yes, I did. I studied French and Spanish at school in Canada, and I thought I was good at languages. But when I got to Mexico, I couldn't say anything. It was awful. How did you feel when you first arrived? To tell you the truth, when I arrived, I was scared. Mexico City is so different from my hometown. It's enormous. Did you like the city? I liked it a lot. 
You see, there's so much to see and do, unlike St. Andrews, my hometown. There are shopping centers, museums, large cinemas with a choice of films, and then there are restaurants with food from all over the world. What about school? What subjects did you study? I did maths, chemistry, biology, Spanish, and lots of other subjects. Did you enjoy the experience? Oh, yes, I did. I'm really glad I went there. My Spanish got better, and I even began to dream in Spanish. I made so many. Unit 2 Grammar. Okay, you found the answers, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Shall we check the answers? Okay. First one is given, I went to Mexico, so the second one. Let's see. Exercise 2. Emily is a 16-year-old school student. She's here with us today to talk about the six months she spent in Mexico. Hello, Emily. Hi. Where did you go last year? I went to Mexico to stay with a Mexican family for six months as an exchange student. I went to school every day and I had to wear a uniform. In Canada, I don't know anybody who wears a uniform. Where did you stay? I stayed with Alicia and... Answer? I stayed. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Stayed. Her family in Mexico City. Alicia is my age, and we got on really well. Why did you choose Mexico City? I wanted to improve my Spanish. Answer? Wanted. wanted. I wanted to improve my Spanish. Mexico City is the capital, of course, and it's also the largest Spanish-speaking city in the world. Did you speak Spanish before you went? Yes, I did. I studied French and Spanish at school in Canada. Answer? Studied. studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. I studied French and Spanish. And I thought I was good at languages. But when I got to Mexico, I couldn't say anything. It was awful. How did you feel when you first arrived? To tell you the truth, when I arrived, I... When I arrived? Uh was scared. I was scared. When I arrived, I was scared. Mexico City is so different from my hometown. It's enormous. Did you like the city? I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. You see, there's so much to see and do, unlike St. Andrews, my hometown. There are shopping centers, museums, large cinemas with a choice of films, and then there are restaurants with food from all over the world. What about school? What subjects did you study? I did maths, chemistry. Answer? I did. 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 Three, biology, Spanish, and lots of other subjects. Did you enjoy the experience? Oh, yes, I did. I'm really glad I went there. I'm really went. glad I went. Went there. All answers are correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay, mark your homework. I already gave one and uh, come to seven. Uh, no, 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 wait. Come to ninth one, here. Exam candidates often make spelling mistakes with the past simple. Underline and correct one spelling mistake in each sentence. So there is one spelling mistake, mistake in each sentence. You need to find it out, underline it, and correct it. Okay? That is one. And the tenth one, complete Amelia's review with the 
past simple form of the verbs in brackets. Those two. Okay, ninth and tenth, these two. Okay, these. Not it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Good. Okay. Then shall we wind up the uh, like lessons for today, children? Okay.